Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani. We are creating series of video tutorials for CRUD operation in React using PHP API and MySQL database. This is the second episode. Here we are going to see how to create components and set up routing. Okay, so before creating components, let's clean some files here. We don't need this one, this one, this one. Let's delete them. Okay, now go to the index.js file and remove this one, which we don't need. Save this file and we are good. Now I'm going to create a new uh, directory here and name it components. And uh, under it, let's create new file and name it oops, list user. Uh, sorry, list user dot js. List user dot js. And uh, here I'm going to say function list user. and return opening closing h1 tag and just say list user for now later we will update it okay now we have to export it so there are two way either you can write message like that or simply here you can say um, export default okay so we have created a simple um, component here let's create one more and just name it create user dot js and uh, just say it create user okay now just duplicate this and rename it to edit user so these three components we have created which we will be needing to perform CRUD operations. Let's install a React package for handling routing and we can do that with the help of npm install package name react router dom. So it will install a package which will be uh, helpful for us to set up a router as it is installed now. Now let's go ahead here and uh, let's update it. We don't need it. Uh, it is React Router DOM. And uh, let's change this to. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, here we wanted browser router, then we want routes and route and also link okay and let's change this to um, h maybe h5 and just say react crud operations using php api and MySQL. Refresh the page and you can see it is reflected here. Now let's go ahead and um, inside here only. Let's use browser route and inside it we can use. Uh, let's create navigation first. Uh, nav and ul then oops, li 
and here our first link it should be going to our home which is slash in our case and let's say list users save this and we should be having one link here now let's create another link with li and this time link to uh, user slash create and just call it user create or maybe create user okay so our links are ready now let's apply a few CSS here. We already have CSS for component level. I can go here and just remove everything because we don't need anything from here. Um, okay. Let's say wherever we have nav and then ul, we don't want it to use uh, list style. So make it none. Save this. This is gone. Nav ul li uh, display inline block and apply a few padding here let's say padding 10 pixels save this file and we are good now if i click here list users it should be on home page if i click here it should be going to users create now this is good now what we wanted to do is once it is going here, it should be showing list user component, which we already have created earlier, right? This one. So let's go here and set up the routes. So you can do that with the help of uh, routes. And then um, route and set up the path. So we have to specify two things, either you can, um, or maybe for the first link, you can also set index. And the second one is element. So for the element, you have to uh, tell what is your element name or uh, actually component name. So here for this case, we are going to say list, um, list user. And let's close it it is a single closing like this okay uh, okay we are good now so this is the list one and let's create one more uh, route and for this time let's set the path to it should be going to user or sorry it should be matching for user create and if it is matching then let's create uh, let's assign the uh, create user okay and this one also okay so as you can see now it is trying to go load create user component and here list user create user okay we are good now update one we will be uh, setting up it here at list so here we have to create some uh, list of users once we show the list of users we will be showing some uh, edit uh, button or icon and once user click on it it should be going to uh, maybe locations like user maybe one and then edit something like this so it should be going here and it should be loading edit uh, one and maybe I think we can set up the route at least for now. So let's say user and then ID, then edit. This will be the path. And in this case, we have to use uh, edit user. And as you can see, I'm using here and these, these things are getting imported. So you should be uh, importing this component. Otherwise it will show some error to you. And you can see this edit user is got added, uh, loaded here. 
uh, in, in the browser if you have this link and user list user create user so here we have set up the link also and we have handled the routing now in the next session i'll show you how to uh, maybe create data and or maybe apis uh, create apis to save the data into database so thanks again guys for watching